Hello everybody, welcome to episode one of the um, Kawasaki Eliminator build. Um, I brought this bike two or three years ago. Um, it was a 1997 Eliminator. Uh, not a very desirable looking bike, as you can see from these photos. I think it was Kawasaki's idea of keeping up with the uh, Virago, the Yamaha, but it's, yeah, they didn't do very good with it. Um, it's basically a um, ZZR uh, sports bike uh, engine, um, and they modified the frame a little bit and sort of made it into a cruiser. But, um, yeah, it wasn't very successful. They made a few other different iterations of it around the world. They made a bigger one. Um, I think in the States, but it never sort of really took off. They did at the end, I think it was uh, in 2000, sometime early 2000s, they made a, um, a V-twin version of it, which was an absolute flop. It had no power. It wasn't a very nice looking bike either. Um, yeah, but basically this bike is the uh, ZZR sports bike, like early Ninja, um, parallel twin. Um, put in to sort of modify it into a cruiser so it, they go pretty well considering they're only a 250 um, you know I changed the, the sprockets around a bit to um, so you could sit on 100 kilometres an hour on the highway quite comfortable and um, apparently from what I've heard wink wink they can you can wind it out to about 170 kilometres with a change of sprockets just makes it a bit more comfortable on the road, um, especially around town. They're not revving so high. You don't have to go through the gears every two seconds. But yeah, well, I brought this bike, and basically, I um, this is called build number two because I turned it into a bobber. Um, that was my first attempt at modifying motorcycles. I've never done it before, so take these videos. They're not how-to videos, it's just how I do it. Um, yeah, there's a corset there of, I've got to give back to um, your mother. She, um, yeah, she needs it back. Anyway, uh, no comments about my legs either. Like, they're extremely white. I hardly ever wear shorts. And um, here in Australia, when I was filming this, it was in um, a sort of low 30s to mid 30 degrees Celsius. So it was really humid and muggy. Um, yeah, now back to the bike. Basically, um, I turned it into a bobber with a few modifications and um, I pulled the bike completely down, every last nut and bolt, put it back together, fixed what had to be fixed. Um, the wiring loom, factory wiring loom in these bikes is just an absolute disaster. Well, this one was anyway. It had a lot of broken wires and... Um, a lot of broken wires and um, I had to fix a lot of stuff and it was just, yeah, it was a nightmare. I knew eventually if I was going to keep the bike I'd have to do a whole new loom and that's part of this build is going to be a, um, a custom completely brand new wiring loom through the whole bike. As you can see later on in this video, you can see the mess of wires and that it's, it's, it was a disaster. I didn't have a clue what I was doing at the time, so I just shoved them in wherever they could fit and covered them with black electrical tape, but yeah, they're pretty bad. But the idea of this bike is um, I'm going to go down a completely different design, different, um, different build. It's, it's a hard tail at the moment. They're not from factory, obviously, but um, I made it into a hardtail with the Springer seat. Surprisingly, it's very comfortable on the road. It's it's about three and a half inches lower in the back than the standard bike, and with the Springer seat, seat it, it's it's quite comfortable on the road. But I'm going to go back to um, shockies in the back and a completely different design, which I'll do a future video with some sketches and that on on the, the route I'm going um, but apart from that you just sit back and, and watch the video I hope you like it um, it'll help me out immensely if you click the subscribe button and hit the little notification bell 
and um, hit the like button if you like it. If you don't, obviously don't hit it. And um, put comments in the um, down below in the comment section. Just introduce yourself, tell me who you are, and I just want to get people to basically talk in the comments, just to make a little bit of a community, but um, we'll just see how things go, and um, yeah, this is um, episode one, I hope you enjoy, thank you. I'm gonna put a fly Baby, you give me a bit that I You whip up my appetite
Hey there, I just cut into this uh, just for a little bit just to let you know that what I'm doing here is um, <clears throat> when I'm cutting all the um, cables um, wires from the wiring loom I'm just just putting a little bit of masking tape just give me um, a description of what it is I've cut um, you wouldn't normally do this obviously if you were keeping all the wiring loom but um, I'm doing a whole new complete one so I thought I'd just cut it off with the pliers wherever I could and I'll just mark on there with a bit of masking tape um, just a, a small description on what the cable wire is and um, yeah just makes it a bit easier down the track rightio guys I'll leave you to it
Gentlemen, we in the rain. You're some kind of butterfly. This is kind of a little bit funny. Um, I did mention earlier, be careful, the bike's gonna fall over, and it did. Um, it's just because I'm stupid. Um, I didn't really hurt myself, hurt my knee a little bit, my toe, but I think I said fruitcake or something to that description there. Um, apart from that, it was all good, but um, I am in the process of trying to sort out a um, a bike hoist or even just make up a, a bench that I can um, have the bike up on higher so I can get to everything easier so I can strap it down um, but that was just pure stupidity there um, I was gonna delete that scene but I thought no no this is what happens when you're stuffing around and not thinking um, but yeah I thought it was a little bit funny that's why I um, left it in the video but um, yeah, I'll glitch you get back to it.
Well guys, that's the uh, coming up to the end of episode one. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah, if you could just help me out by hitting that subscribe button and if you want to be notified of when a video pops up, just hit the little bell so then you get notified and also hit the like button if you liked it and um, if you didn't like it, well, there's plenty of other channels out there to get your content. Um, and also leave comments down below I'd like to I'd like to see where everyone um, is at as in where they live and if, what sort of bikes they ride and if they're rebuilding them so um, yeah so that's the end of part one stay tuned for part two and I'll talk to you soon and always remember guys such is life <laughs>